Yo, what's up, dog? Yeah, we, okay, well, yo, see? we in the crib. We, okay. we, we popping Pull some up. hoes. <laughs> we gonna. <laughs> We're gonna peel our skin off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna... We're gonna eat you some know really what? I'm bad not gonna gas station food. <laughs> yeah, do it. No, I'm not gonna hit that out. That's perfect. I'm gonna it's slap my, you in the nipple. <laughs> no, what can be? <laughs> if I had it my way, I would hunt you for sport. All right, good. Okay, we gotta start. We gotta start. The we gotta start the episode. Is this gonna be edited out? No, this is this is staying in. <laughs> All right, I gotta say the thing. I gotta say the thing. I gotta say the thing. Break out the fat TV, the DD player that can't fast forward, and the <laughs> crappy fan because this is let's talk about <laughs> going serious. A podcast where we watch some disgusting session movies from our childhood. Today we're talking about Surf's Up. <laughs> Gnarly dude. Yeah. You know how it to... be. We got the we got the boys in the crib. We're gonna be watching. Penguin movies about surfing, decided, rocking out. You know what I we do. I decided that I'm not gonna. I swear to God. I I I I I say I have officially decided that I'm not gonna read off the IMDb IMDb every episode now because I I am so tired of reading those. Hello, come back. Ah. Hello. Makes uh, sense. Makes <laughs> sense. This is awkward silence there now. Great. Wonderful. That'll improve things. That'll make things better. But will uh, it? So will what's it, your guys' experience? What's your, what's your, oh, literally, I swear to God. What's your guys' experience with uh, Surf's Up? I, don't know, uh, I remember up watching when I this movie. It was on. It was on Cartoon Network a lot. Yeah, cool, that's about it. Cool. <laughs> it has. It has. Uh, the the just do it guy in it. Oh yeah, oh Shia yeah, Labeouf. yeah. And the guy that was Napole Napole Napoleon um Bonaparte. Yeah, Napoleon you mean Dynamite. TNT. Yeah, Napoleon yeah. TNT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be yeah, Italian. Napoleon Dynamite. He was uh he was really big back then. Yes. Mainly because yeah. it was that weird point in the two thousands where they were branching off from the nineties. No, the 2000s was just the 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 uh, the uh, Diet the 90s. 90s sloppy leftovers. Yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> Those are the ones that, that have been the fridge. Dog, so Alexa, back then. turn on the lights. I got my dogs in my room. Ooh, um, so, advanced. Yeah. So yeah, what's your guys' experience with the movie? Max, come on. Go Pretty told. I don't. I don't know. Watching when I was a kid at the time. I I remember. I remember. Um, I know a so guy who acted just. like... Like Chicken Joe, Natural it. Path. Okay. So, at my, movie, <laughs> at my school, right, we had like this whole movie night thing where you could watch it. And I'm pretty sure it's in black and white. And no what? sound for some reason. Or without Meet the Robinsons. I don't know. I'll retell the story for watching Meet the Robinsons. I don't know. I don't Why know does Meet the Robinsons sound really. Why does Meet the Robinsons sound really fun to watch in black and white? I remember, do you guys remember that um that one like Disney commercial, the the Disney trailer for it that was on like DVDs, and it was like I'll help you if you help me find my teeth, and it was like in black and white because the animation oh, wasn't yeah. done yet. Yeah, um, I'm opening up candy canes right now because this is. Can we, wait, 
Can we talk, Second, talk about uh, something? January. We are never, we are no. likely never going to get a, a legitimate surf up too because of surf the of the uh, because of the WWE movie being called Surf's Up Two. They were well, never gonna do a Surf's Up Two anyways. No, no, the the wrestling one was legit. They actually had George Miller come back to uh, ride it. He's like the only guy who came back. Another thing with well, Chicken Joe's voice came Ooh. back. I thought that him. was him. No, no, Chicken Joe's played by a different guy. Also, yeah, in Surf's Up Two, they have Jeremy oh, Shada, oh, who plays Finn, to play the penguin. Oh, we should have watched Surf's Up Two. That one's. I just wish you could milk a fish. You know. We can't pop. It's not two thousand. Why? It's not two thousand. It's still the 2000s. Another thing with George Miller is that he was once interviewed about the potential for a Surf Sub 3, and he said to him, Look, the ideas for these movies just come to me. They, I can't sit down and write it. It just has to follow me. And Genny, Genny, I was happy for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, how dare, how dare you? I watched the same Rebel Taxi video, Kenny. We're better than Rebel oh, Taxi. My bad, my bad. Uh, uh, I love, I, I love when I love when like I can I'm tell when you're referencing happy a video. Feet, then. My bad. I love when I can tell you when you're referencing a video that just came out because I like we wa- we watched the same people. So I love that. I'm like, oh, you must have watched that. I love that. <laughs> well, what's with the what was with all the Penguin movies back then? You know. Oh, let yeah, me count them. Let me, let me try to penguin. count them. I swear to God, I'm doing it. There was Marshall <laughs> Penguins. There was. Happy I swear Feet. to God, you there monsters. Was... <laughs> Mr. Popper's Penguins. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. I like that book. That was a good right. book. That was a good book. Plus, Exploding Penguins 3 Total Annihilation. Oh, why are they exploding? Exactly. Good. Oh, Penguins of Madagascar? That was a good show. Uh-huh. Everybody loves oh, that yeah, show. and then they got the movie for it. Let me think. The movie was, well, like... The movie was, like, so disappointing because they had, like, every single good joke in the trailers. And that's why I don't watch trailers anymore. And I was trying to go into Soul completely blind, but YouTube ads was like, No, you ain't! <laughs> okay, oh, I'm yeah, back. I have... that episode of Chowder where everyone was a penguin except for Chowder okay. and... Uh, I'm back. I don't, know, I don't know what YouTube ads are Grunkle Stan. Okay, I'm back, and I've talked <laughs> with my lawyer. Yeah? You hear that? These are the cease and desist letters. Oh, God. Okay. You must cease and desist legally, because... I, heck if I know. Oh man. <laughs> Just keep talking. My mod DS. Let me tape this back together. Uh, I got some staples. Oh wait, I lost my stuff. Oh, I got some, I got I brought paper clip. I got paper clips. You want some paper clips? God, I want I want an easy button. Yeah, I, I got paper clips. Some of those. I don't know if that's picking up or not. Hope we got that picked up. I heard it. Good, 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 good. good. Yeah, I want I'm an easy button too. Re- I ripped this up. I'm gonna get it. Go get it reinstated. <laughs> <sighs> I want an anyway, easy button. so. Should we head out and, uh... No! What? We're still talking. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, all right. The Jeez. <laughs> Yell again. Oh, my God. Oh, In God. the words of Club Penguin, cool your jets, Rock Hopper. <laughs> just, hey, just I'm gonna... Hey, in the words, in the words of Cl- Club Penguin... Uh, <clears throat> uh, there was Club Penguin... <laughs> Let me look this up. I oh, got penguin movies of the 2000s. Penguin. Does Scamper the Penguin count? Because I had the VHS for that growing up. Did it come out in the 2000s? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was either like late 90s okay. or very early 2000s. Okay, there was Happy Feet, Surf Up, Madagascar, March for Penguins, Madagascar 2, Batman vs. Dra- Dracula for some reason, Madagascar Penguins. Christmas Caper, The Search for Santa that has penguins. Uh, let me look Wait, at more movies what? here. Scamper Batman penguin Mystery was of Batwoman. An 80s movie? Batman Mystery of Batwoman and Little Mermaid 2. Return to the Sea. 
I don't oh, think yeah, all those Batman are Penguin was movies. The villain, the penguin. Oh my god, I ha- I was a hundred percent convinced that I I straight up like made this up in my head. There is a movie, a parody of March of the Penguins called Farce of the Penguins. I com- completely forgot that existed. What is this even like? I remember like being told about it existing. Oh yeah, and uh. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, you could pick Piplup as your starter, and he was a penguin. Why is this? You know something? Why is this? Why is it? Why is a parody of a penguin movie rated R? I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say it. I hate Piplup in the anime. What? Yeah, I just I don't like. He's annoying. I don't like him. Piplup was adorable. Oh he my is, okay. god. I'm gonna clarify real quick. I never watched Diamond Pearl. <laughs> a little like scene. I don't like Piplup, okay? Okay, guys. You know how I was, ta- I was just talking about how they made. No, I was, I was talking about how there's a parody of March of the Penguins called Farce of the Penguins? No. I want you. I mean, yes. To, I want you to guess here how much money the movie made in theaters. Uh, $4,200. $5,000. It made six thousand eight hundred and thirty-two dollars. Oh my god! Globally. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh no! Wait, Bob Saget directed it. Yes. Well, he isn't doing much. He's uh, Wait. bobbing and and sacketing, right? Wait, hold yeah, up. His, his house is pretty full. Okay, so he, he you know, he, he he's busy. He's... <laughs> That's just pretty. Whoopi Goldberg was in Farce of the Penguins. And now, and now it's even fuller. <laughs> Any, anyone? No? Okay. <laughs> and it's a marginally worse show. <laughs> and it's on Netflix. Like filler house, am I right? <gasps> All right. Um, I've actually never seen Surf's Up. Well, I actually I've seen like I seen the beginning part of Surf's Up, but then it was like all these interviews, and it went on forever. I mean, my mom got bored, so we left. It was at the you school. Left? It, was at the school it was at the school event, right? And we I'm pretty sure it was in black and white and there was like no sound either. So we were just watching and we got bored. So we were like, okay, this is this, this is boring. And we just left. Just no sound into black. They didn't even test it. I think I think, they, it was, I think I think on the little flyer it said that, that it was in black and white. I remember I remember the flyer for Meet the Robinson saying that it was gonna be in black and white. <laughs> yeah. Black and white. Good times. Oh yeah, I want to clarify that we're not doing this because of the Rebel Taxi video. We already planned this in ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just we that don't plan video it. happened to come out. He ripped this off. Uh, no, he but ripped, um, um. Oh my god. All right. Now we don't. Okay, we so record, we're trying to record these in advance. This is this is we're recording this the day after the first one came out. Um, we're trying to record these in advance, and we're not saying what movie we're watching next because what's happened with let's talk about twenty five days of Christmas. Okay, we're so several um, episodes, next several week we're watching. Several episodes were, you know, corrupted or lost and all that. So this way, if that happens, I don't have to go like, well, <laughs> oh, yeah. again for the fifth time this week. But yeah, so we're not going to say what episode, we're, um, what movie we're watching next, next now, from now on. Okay, so um, next week we're... Pop, we haven't even chosen. You wouldn't want to watch? <laughs> you wouldn't want to watch it, but Pop's like, oh, I've already seen it, I don't want to watch that one. <laughs> I don't know why I gave you that voice, but I did well, don't don't watch- hype people up. Okay. No. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go watch. We're gonna go watch. Okay, guys. All right. Okay. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to answer. <laughs> By the way, it's Ponyo. Let's head on okay, out bye. there. Surf's up. You're going to want to watch it over and over again. A moment of silence. And we keep it moving. Dude, that movie was righteous. Uh-huh. I just should take a breath before that, and we're back. That movie was righteous, so man. Look at that bogacious yeah, penguin. Like that was so much green there. My man got robbed from his victory. Know what I'm saying? How oh, they let a chicken in with a bunch of the penguins. Me and my boys wouldn't let no chicken beat a penguin. What's up with it's that, racist. huh? It's actual relationship. What are you doing? 
What you mean, dude? I just pulled a 360 kickflip. Want to go home and watch some Bam Margera on MTV later? What? My family doesn't ah! get MTV. Sorry, I got... Uh, ugh. Sorry. My Did skater the... <laughs> surfer side came out again. All, all, the, all, they, all they play is ridiculousness now, so like, all the, it's not really... All, the, all they came out? Oh, good for them. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Pop. It's okay, so I just you guys turned into it, a though? surfer skater stereotype for a few minutes. What did you guys think of the movie, though? Great movie. Pretty, pretty good. Chicken Joe <laughs> is the best character. Like oh, Pop, Joe. I thought you were going to be like, oh, that's pretty alright. Pretty alright. Pretty alright, yeah. That's pretty much his opinion on everything. I'll show him something, <laughs> we'll watch something together, and I'll show him like, so what did you think of it? He's like, it's pretty alright. He'll be like, this is my favorite feet. movie ever. He'll be like, this is my favorite movie ever. Did you like it? Pretty alright. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like the documentary aspect of it. Yeah. yeah I don't know what to say about it. It's a good movie. cartoons. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's a good movie. You know. You know. We'll probably watch it again. Yeah. 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 We'll be sure to watch it again on holiday. What well, it starts up to Wave Mania. That's not no. nostalgic. We can't watch that. Plus, I do not want to see him milk a fish. Ugh. But dude, we can't. We can't. Eat the fish. That's not two thousands. We we can't do that. We can't, we can't do that, Pop. On top of oh. that, did we really need the WWE to revive the Surf Sub movies? Yes. They didn't revive it. They killed it. Was it already alive? Was it still alive, I mean? Well, no, but... Exactly. The WWE also did a movie with the Jetsons. Well, yeah, and they also did it with the Flintstones, I'm pretty sure. Like, and Scooby-Doo. Twice. Seen the Scooby -Doo scene? You ever seen the scene of Scooby-Doo? Or there was like a boulder or something coming at them, and this is just the John Cena thing plays, and he like comes and he jumps off a cliff, and he like stops the boulder. <laughs> it's amazing. As a kid, my cousin would always try to do Batista bombs to me. You ever just, um, you ever just be chilling at your um with your cousin, and he just Batista bombs you into a bed? I don't know what that means, but I'm terrified. You just die. Randy Orton RKO! <laughs> and there'd always be some kid at one of my family reunions who would uh, wear a Rey Mysterio mask. WWE has a weird place <laughs> in my childhood. Yep. Does that awkward sound? <laughs> I like the game. I like the games more than the Um, I don't know. You know, you know. Okay, the only problem I have right now with the podcast right now is that currently we do not, we don't have music, so these awkward pauses are just going to be awkward like, pauses. Hey, yeah, without no music. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, let's put Nickelodeon theme songs in the background. <laughs> no. Do you want to get copyrighted? I still yeah, yeah. What if we? What if Viacom's we found already going to come out? Stock but, skater music. Viacom's already going to come after me for doing a Spongebob musical video, you know, showing footage of that. So I'm already going to be taking a big risk when I make that one. How, just, how dare you appreci appreciate the art people worked so hard on? Yeah, well, I could talk about it, but if I show any footage or play any music from it, you know, I, I'll literally get destroyed, but, you know. It's whatever. I'm working on, like, three videos right now. I don't know when they're all coming out, so... Well, hey, if uh, I if we need it. any background music, then try finding like some of that that stock I'll, I'll, skater I'll, I'll, I'll look music into it. from Flash games. I'll, I'll, I'll look, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. But yeah, um, should have lots of free time to write and edit now. <laughs> for reasons that happens for yeah, I'll get into that later. You see, when old Mama died. You know, I had to provide for this family. Nothing was the same. 
we look at they we I, look at that old rocking we, chair and we just we just ho- hoped she'd be there again at least once to you know I was, yeah i'm I was proud working, of you working Meemaw's proud of you but working, put, she was never there we had to cover it up with a tarp just so we didn't see it i don't know why we just didn't throw it out but whenever we'll getting Meemaw back She's still in that chair. We really should. Have <laughs> just, really left, we, just left her there. We really should, well, the tarp's covering the smell. I mean, we really should call someone. But, but after she died, you know, I got a job at the dollar store. You know, to help pay for you know the family. You know, pop. You know, has yeah. to, we we have to save up for his community college fund. You know, and um, mm-hmm. I, I, it turns out, without my knowledge, I was a seasonal. I was a seasonal position, and my I called today and asked me. I was like. I was asking, I was like, uh, so why don't I have hours all last week and this week? And they're just like, oh, well, you were seasonal. I'm like, oh. Why, did, okay. why didn't they even, why did they, they even tell, they should have told you when you started the job. <laughs> Never came up once, so I worked there for about almost three months. And so, yeah. Now I'm unemployed. Uh, well, but... welcome to the party. You want know sucks the most? You want know sucks the most? Sucks the most? One paid chick away from building a PC. Just one. Just one away. Now you're now you're even more dead inside. Eh, I hated it there, anyways. But you know, I applied at a lot of places. Applied at uh, Target and wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, but Bath and Beyond. Because I liked, I, I saw a movie there where a guy got a remote that could control stuff. You know, I, I had the Adam Sandler fellow in it. Just good. Oh, you get to go uh, bend back in the stockroom and go get it. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't there like a movie about a lady who lived in a Walmart? Of course, I know her. She is me. <gasps> oh my God, I'm not a girl. Miss Walmart. Well, I mean, no, no, for Walmart. Like have every you know what? I'm not gonna make the to wake her up. <laughs> no. But I play at a lot of places. I, I tried playing at Target, but I know I'm not gonna get Target because that's you got you got yeah you, you, you got to know someone to get to Target. Yeah. Maybe I can maybe I can talk to Jared. Was it Jared? Target Who's that one always guy? Always signs saying, "Oh, we're hiring," but then no one gets a job there. Who was that one guy that girls like obsessed over? Like someone took a picture of him. You know, it's like a worker at Target. Was his name Jared, or am I thinking the guy from Alex. Subway? Ah, Alex. Yes. I wonder what he's doing now. It was either Alex or Adam. Well, I wonder what they're doing now. Believe me, you did not want Jared from Subway to be the guy you're simping for. Well, I didn't say I was simping for Jared. I'm just saying, oh, maybe I can talk to the to this Alex fellow. I hope the guy's name is actually Alex. Otherwise, we're, otherwise we're going to be like called out. <laughs> uh, we're going to be called out on it. You know, like, well, people come to let's talk about for facts, the hard facts. You know. Yeah. Because, we're better uh, than Fox News. Oh yeah, yeah we're better than Fox better News. Than Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> they you know once did an episode popular. about. They did a news broadcast about that episode. SpongeBob, you're fired. Hey, hey that's me. Like it was some kind of. They were like, <gasps> "Oh no, is SpongeBob gonna be okay? Is the state of America gonna be ruined because SpongeBob lost his job?" It really hey, the state of America. The state of America was ruined when uh, when Harambe was shot. Okay, everything went downhill from there. It led. No, it no, led, it led, led, led to all once this. The gold standard went away. You all, you guys really realize life just started when going down. Once, yeah, like Pop said, like once that gorilla got shot, it all <laughs> life just started going down. Imagine if the imagine if Harambe never got shot. Just to go would be different nowadays. You know? Har- Harambe Har- Harambe shot them. Harambe was the domino that caused the entirety of the world to go into a global pandemic. Change my <laughs> mind. You can't change no, my mind. Now. <laughs> Remember the summer of twenty sixteen when you had to tell people watch out for the killer clowns while you're outside catching Pokemon. I miss those days. Yeah. Back when I was still out for clouds. Oh, no. yeah, I missed those days. Pokemon Pokemon go. Go. They have all the way to Kalos now. 
I miss the old days of Pokemon Go, man. Back when it was like really yeah, fun and exciting. I mean, it's still fun. The game's but good it's not as now. Exciting. I mean, it gives you something to do if you're in a very janky small town like I am. I'm in a relatively okay set town. I mean, my town has a Hollywood video, but that's all shut down and abandoned. I want to go. I'm gonna go look at it, but I don't have a license, so I can't drive it there. And I asked my parents, and they're like, "Why do you want to go look at the abandoned video store?" I'm like, "Well, because I want to see what they did wrong, so K Family Video can stay open." And then they sent me to a mental institution. But now I'm back, so. <laughs> yeah. That explains why we haven't uploaded between the uh, the old days of the podcast and the Christmas special. Old days? Yeah. It was only two months before. Well, you know something? Time moves fast, you know? Frozen's going to be a decade old. Years. Good luck with that. No. <laughs> Good luck with the that. The 3DS crisis. turns 10 this year. In February. My little brothers turn 14 in two days, including Owen, who is a part of this podcast. I don't think he's been a part of the normal podcast yet, though. Huh. Not yet. No, well, no, he, will he, be. Was, he was in Madagascar. No, that was Nightwatch. Oh, oh, I thought that was your brother. Yeah. They sound so no. similar. Well so, well, so does Owen and the other little brother that I have, because they're twins. And... Yeah, but that's okay. because they're okay, genetic. I have, I, I have a story that's amazing. Okay. So, <laughs> this is why we're never going to have both of them on the podcast together, because they sound pretty much the identical, if you don't, like, really know them, because, like, I do. Like, I can, I know who's who, because I can tell, because, you know, they're my little brothers. Um, but, okay, so there's Owen and Finn, right? Finn and Owen, we're, we were all, we were playing Among Us with some other people, me, Pop, Gendy, some other friends. <laughs> One friend asked who was yellow, and then Owen was yellow, but Finn said, I'm yellow, <laughs> basically framed Owen. By <laughs> using his voice. Oh my god, it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life out of Finn. That's a big brain to... move. And he used to eat sand when he was like three, so. But everyone eats mm, sand at yummy some sand. point. Well, yummy moon he also... sand. <laughs> gonna... Sand has oh, that crunch sand. to it. Ooh, moon sand. I loved moon sand. I used to play with my Thomases in there. Um, my Thomas trains that I had. And, um... Whenever I'll find some of those in like like bins and stuff around my room, I like looking like the wheels or something else. <laughs> There'll still be like a little bit of moon sand in their wheels. It's amazing. Hey, my so uh, like... nephew used to put play doh in Legos. Uh, do you guys remember, like, in the... my Legos, so sometimes I'll find bits and pieces of play doh in there. Hmm. Play doh gets hard and crystally after ten years. What was that stuff called? That was like it was like a like a little like. It was like a foam, right? But it was foam? like little beads. Foam! Yeah, it was foam. Okay, I thought it was so, but I, couldn't th- I didn't think that was right. That, I always wanted that yourself, stuff as but... a kid, but you needed, to, you needed to get an 18-year-old to call and tell them, hey, I want foam. Like, why you is it all realize... of those products on TV said, must be 18 or older to order? Do you guys realize that we're able to order those now? Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's going to be like, Alright, <laughs> let, uh, let me rewind the let me rewind the VCR so that I can find that phone number by my kid brother, that weird foam stuff. You know, th- no, actually it's the foam number. <laughs> someone out there left to that. No, they didn't. Or someone went, oh, oh my god, this podcast is it's terrible. You and they my Nerf the entire channel. Um, so I... Yeah, I, I had I had Flom. I, I remember I had like I had Flom. I forgot when I got it. I, I remember Moon Sand more than Flom. And I remember in the, in the commercial, in the commercial, uh, it says like, and it's mess free with a uh, it's a mess free with a play tray or something. Like it's like an inflatable play tray. That thing didn't make a mess free. The thing is like an inch tall, and the Flom <laughs> would get stuck underneath, like because it's like it's like um, it, it, you blow it up and it's like a curved kind of border. So we get stuck underneath it. That's uh, amazing. You gotta get underneath it! Oh yeah, there's something I wanted to talk about with Surf's Up. Okay, it's weird. For me, the trailer for Surf's Up is more nostalgic than the actual movie. Because we didn't have the DVD as a kid. As kids. But, but we had the promotional sneak peek DVD, which came in this little sleeve. That, uh... 
it was just just a disc, and you and you and, you, and then you put it in, and it's a tra- has a trailer for the movie, and like uh, a few like games, I think, and then you put it in your um, if you put it in your PC, you can play a, de- a demo of the uh, video game, which is the only thing I think the, I believe the only thing it had was like you're like surfing, and like the like the lava like the part of the lava. I don't think it even had. I mean, I don't even know what the game's like. That's all. That's all it had. It was like only like a, a few minutes long, maybe. Do you guys remember? Um, on top of that, pop. Do you um? Do you remember? Do you guys remember when DVDs had like like um, like DVD? I think it was like it was, I think it's called DVD ROM, where you like put the DVD into like a computer, and then it would take you onto like the website or something to play games. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to do that with my Veggie Tales DVDs. Yeah, I tried doing that with my Thomas DVDs, but we didn't have Wi-Fi because you know poor. Who was it in the two thousands, man? Did you, did you you did you know that um you could play CD ROMs on a PS2? Because like a computer, we had we like had a computer a CD- game. I don't know. It's just, but I guess I guess so. Uh, um, because well, I used to have this CD, this, this CD, okay, this this CD ROM of uh. Like Clifford, it had like like Clifford like puzzles and stuff on it. And you can and like and all that and like coloring pages, and you could put put in your PS2 and it would actually work like properly. Wait, so could I like put Lego Island in my PS2 and uh, get it to play? I don't know if it was like select CD-ROMs or had to be a certain way because I remember it was a CD-ROM. Okay, I am Maybe about to investigate. CBD? Because I play, I played, I tried playing Employee of the Month on my PS2, but it didn't work. Well, it worked, way, it's it, job. It worked for me. Boy of the month. People say okay. People say Bow for Bikini Bomb is the best SpongeBob game. They are liars. Employee of the month is the best SpongeBob game, and I want a remake of it. It's a point and click game, and it's amazing. God, I loved it as a kid. My co- my coffee snapped in half, and now I own two. Coffee snapped in half. I don't even remember how it snapped in half. I just remember it was like in half, and I went like, I showed my mom like all sad. I'm like, uh, mom, or mama, or whatever I said. I don't know. I was like ten. I said mama when I was like ten. I was uh, okay. I was a wimpy. I was a pathetic kid. Okay, not a wimpy kid. Same. I called my mom like mommy till I was like twelve. <laughs> yeah, mother, mother. Oh yeah. So New Year's was like a few days ago of this recording. And I remember, I remember, New Year's doesn't feel the same anymore because when you're a kid, you I when I was a kid, my bedtime was ten, and I got to stay up two extra hours, and it was like the greatest thing of all time. But now, I stay up to like two a.m. every night. <laughs> uh, you remember? Remember, remember being a yeah, kid yeah. and being able to watch Total Drama? I thought it was the most raunchy thing of. I'd, I'd ever watched. <laughs> I love how you said that. the most raunchy thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my uh, god! It, it I said knew crap. so many kids oh back god. then who said Bridget is gonna win, and she did it. I got, because of that, I, I I learned the term making out, and I said making out, and then I got in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> like, Where did you hear that? Um, I, I was on a commercial. <laughs> smart, smart. I. I once got in a similar situation when I uh, quoted Camp Laszlo. There was a scene where all the characters were, like, getting through the door, and there's, like, one where uh, the Scoutmaster is approached by the door greeter, and he's like, you make me sick. And I, uh, (laughs) being the naive little seven-year-old I was, was doing the same thing with the students and, uh, then the teacher came up to me and I said, "You make me sick." So I got uh, I got sent to the principal's office and I wasn't allowed to watch Camp Laszlo for like a month. I wasn't allowed to watch Ed and Ed and Eddie. What? What? <laughs> wasn't the point of that show to teach kids that you gotta build things and work for what you want? That and I think my gym partner is a monkey. I couldn't watch those. I'm pretty sure I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I mean, I eventually you know, would get to okay. a point where I was like, um, can can I watch Camp Laszlo again? And my mom is looking at me like, 
Uh, why not? Sorry. Okay. Okay. I don't know if there was much of that um, cartoon that wasn't allowed to watch. Again. Sorry, I forgot that. I um, forgot that the door was nothing. open. Like, depending on what relative I was with, what, like, how, like some of them are Christian, so I wasn't allowed to watch certain things with them. But other than that, like, like homos, I was allowed to watch pretty much all the cartoons except the adult ones. I never trust kids or people who weren't allowed watching to watch SpongeBob growing up. I don't trust them. They can't be trusted. They're pro- they're, they probably they probably just because we're not SpongeBob. They probably had a Game Boy Advance with the tri- with the tribal stickers on it. Those kids are drug dealers now. Yeah, yeah the people who are gonna watch SpongeBob, they have no sense of humor now. You you realize that, right? Do you remember? Do you remember? I bet the same kids that used to say in um, elementary school, SpongeBob's for babies, are the ones that quote SpongeBob all the time. I yeah. remember. Um. I remember as a kid, I mean, I was, I was bullied a lot in school because <laughs> like Thomas Dang. throughout school and over. And um, I remember Ooh. ranting to my mom about it, like, I don't know why older, my kids my age are like, I'm, I don't like Superman. <laughs> like Superman. Spe- specifically I Superman. I like Superman. I don't think, I don't think much kids now like Superman. I, was thinking, I just knew this I one, know. I knew this one punk kid who, uh, would call every cartoon a baby show. So I would always, like, rush up to him and say, What about anime? <laughs> Gendy, if we ever meet in real life, you gotta go up to me and say, "What?" Just go up to me and go, What about anime? You gotta do that to me. My life won't be fulfilled until you do that to me. That's gonna be on a shirt now. That's, uh, if we ever have shirts, that's what I want. <laughs> just, what about anime? <laughs> and just like, just like a, like a bold font or not a bold font, but like a comic what about sans, anime? All, always, all lowercase. He period. would always be like, black shirt. He would always be like, like baby show, baby show. And I'd be running up to him, like about to rescind gun him because <laughs> I'm like, anime. no, anime is deep. It's mature. It's a big show what if, for big people. What about the, what about the suggestive poses in the heavily censored set of the moon we got in America? <laughs> what was a show that you guys were afraid of watching as a kid? For me, not a show, but like an episode of a show. For me, yeah, for me, it was um the Dragon Tales episode where Max, the boy, he um he was trying <laughs> to reach a ball right him. on the other. <laughs> I think he was trying to reach him. a ball on the other side. He was trying to reach a ball on the other side of the wishing well, right? While he's in Dragonland, and he's like, oh, I wish I was bigger, you know, and like uh, a coin fell out of his pocket, you know. I don't know why he had the coin in his pocket like that. It does not have a wallet or a coin purse or something, but whatever. And then he it fell into the well, and then he grew, and then he got bigger and bigger and bigger throughout the episode. And then the old guy, the old yellow guy with the weird brown like hair looking things, like you see in Dragonland, and you wish upon something in the wishing well, it really comes true. Yeah, that was scary to me for some reason as a kid. I wish what gave me anxiety as a kid. <laughs> I wish what gave me anxiety as a kid was what gave me anxiety now. Because compared to what I, I get anxiety about now, compared to that, it's just, dang. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go into. I'm not gonna go into it because it's like that is too extreme at all for yeah, just a yeah. casual like. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> like for casual talk at all. Uh, okay, let's just leave it at Netflix. Honestly, anything no, involved anything on Netflix. That's on net, anything that's anything that's on Netflix. As a kid, I loved Courage the Cowardly Dog, but as an adult, it scares me. The return, the return, return the sl- slab. The return slab. That, yeah. that messed me up as a kid. Now he's just like yeah. weird looking CGI. Now, he- <laughs> and there's this that one episode that I can't find anywhere, but I swear I saw where they uh, traveled forward through time and all of humanity became bananas. Everything's bananas in our future. Um, and there was like this nah, it's... one banana that king who was secretly a monkey in disguise. Yeah, that was an episode. And Courage dresses as a banana. Right? Or was he a great yeah, yeah. Egg, eggplant or something? I forget. No, no, it was a banana. It was just a rotten mm-hmm. one. You guys ever had shows that just made you sad when you watched them? No. For no, no real reason. They just kind of made you sad. Yeah, as for me, kid, that was... Robot Chicken did that for me. Oh, I was terrified. Yeah, I was terrified of Robot Chicken as a kid. So oh my god. Okay. Uh I remember um at one point 
uh, my like, okay, this is a graphic warning kind of thing. I don't know. Graphic, skip ahead for graphic a warning. What's yeah. the timestamp? <laughs> skip ahead, like I don't know, some amount of time. If you're a child <laughs> who's sensitive, like I was, so basically, Woo! um. I was at my aunt's house and she was watching Robot Chicken and heckin these ninjas all came in and then just like like kicked this lady's head off, right? <laughs> and that traumatized me so much as a kid. And I remember just like just having like I'm like like I just started crying and like really loudly and I remember uh, my aunt changed it to uh Zach and Cody. Ah, uh, it's soothing that it's soothing enough. Yeah. I don't know why. And then I remember um and then I remember later on. So I don't know how your guys' channels were, but mine were 40 was Nickelodeon, 41 was Disney Channel, 42 was Cartoon Network, and then 43 was Animal Planet. And, um, um, for me, for um, me, 33, 33 was Cartoon Network, 34 was Disney Channel, and 32 was Nickelodeon. And Boomerang. Uh, Boomerang right, 47 was, was Cartoon Network, 46 was Nickelodeon, and I want to say... 43 was Disney no, Channel. No, wait, no, wait. 35 was, was, was Disney <laughs> Channel. And then it was right below Cartoon Network, which was 30, um, was 33. 32 was Boomerang. 44 was, uh, I want to say Disney XD. But, but okay, uh, so... Boomerang, Boomerang was somewhere in the hundreds. Like, they made it a weird specialty channel. You had to go through the HD to look for. Okay, so, um, but later that night, my sister set my TV to be on either Nick or Disney Channel, you know, and I, <laughs> I remember being like, no, no, I want to watch Animal Planet, and I gotta go through Cartoon Network to do that. So she changed it to, um, Animal Planet for me. I remember, I, remember, I used to watch a lot of Animal Planet as a kid. Oh, me too. Me too. Did you, and, do you remember watching okay. the, uh, the most extreme? Yes. Okay. Spoilers for Meerkat Manor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I've watched like, like literally like all there was to watch the show up to that point until the episode where they killed off the leader of. They didn't kill off the, the leader of them died. I, I I was not. I'm not. I haven't been the same since. <laughs> yeah. I was like seven. I I I'm I'm changed. You don't like go that, through something that traumatizing. I like that and one then... show too cute. Oh, it's too a, cute. A, fast forward the a... fast forward the birth part. Too cute always has puppies. They never have kittens. I want to watch kittens. I, I here's the thing. Here's the thing. I New prefer kittens over puppies. They do have kittens. I prefer kittens over puppies, but I prefer dogs over cats. Sorta. I don't know. Like I remember, there was this depends on the dog. One... I saw this one recent, like, too cute episode with kittens where uh, they also had an orphan skunk as part of the uh, kitten litter. Yeah, and, and isn't every episode start with the, like them having the the uh, kittens? No, some of them do. It's like the <laughs> dog or the cat. Hey, have you guys just... ever seen? Have you guys ever seen the Pokemon version of Too Cute the, that someone posted on YouTube? It's amazing. I no, haven't, no. but that sounds amazing. I'm not, I'm not giving it. I'm not giving it away, but it's amazing. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, do you guys remember when um, uh, when channels had weren't in HD, so you got like you had to go to the HD channel, and it was like right below. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember annoying my dad because I was switching between um the norm, the normal Nick and the HD Nick just to see the difference. <laughs> just swiping, swipe, swipe, um. Switching between them over and over. I'm like, I don't see a difference. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm trying to see the difference. <laughs> Those were the days. Those as were the a kid, days. I didn't really see things as HD. But one thing I do like, one of my, whatever channel thing we had, it would play the East Coast Nick and Cartoon Network and the West Coast Nick and Cartoon Network. Yeah, where you would get it, it would go off a different time. Yeah, yeah, it would yeah, be yeah, like yeah. three hours behind. Well, yeah, that World Boy Day of Play. Even make, that, that, does, that doesn't even make sense. World, Boy, not... World Wide Day of Play um, on Nick. People always like, oh, I just changed it to Cartoon Network. I didn't do that. I just... <laughs> 
<laughs> um, Nickelodeon is like, we're gonna be doing, we're outside playing, and I'm like, oh okay, so it was like a three hour block, so I just went to the other Nickelodeon <laughs> where it was already done. <laughs> Isn't there Dude, a where... you know that that always bugged me as a kid. I was like, wait, if if there's the West Coast and the East Coast, Nick, and the West Coast one is early, then what's stopping the East Coast people from watching the West Coast, Nick? What was that? I forget. I forget. What was that thing that ha- that like like someone hacked into Nick during a World War Day play? I forgot what it was. Oh, um, no, it was um, Utah had like these a uh, uh, Utah nuclear plant or something like that had a fire. And it's like we're outside playing. You should be too. And then right after, it's like it's like, it's like, it's like an emergency rah, alert, rah, emergency rah, alert rah, system rah. going out. It's basically saying Matt that Brian there's a like there's a toxic gas. Utah. Oh yeah, Kit, you said those those kind of like alarm things make you uncomfortable. It's meant to put you on edge, I know. so you'll do so you'll uh, l- listen to it. So it's meant to make you uncomfortable. Yeah. For some reason, or, I yeah. get some sick sense of comfort listening to those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love the idea of Gindy going to sleep and he just puts in headphones and it's like full blast. Just... <laughs> oh. oh, that made me feel, <laughs> made me feel anxious. What the heck? Never do that. <laughs> that <pop. laughs> I don't know. It's like I I'd be it. a young kid, like sitting in the back of the car watching the rain while I'm playing my DS, and then it'd go like. <laughs> A flash flood warning is in your area. Please get yeah, there soon. Every, every time, every time there's like a tornado warning, and like nothing happens, I still, even as like now, I still get scared. For <laughs> me, have, you really just... have you guys seen? Have you guys seen an emergency broadcast in like years? Because I really haven't. Mm. Or like, no, like, I, I got tested. I've I mean. listened to them on the radio, but never uh, saw I, them I, on TV I, in a while. I've gotten a few times in the past, past few years when I've been like watching. TV. I haven't seen any tests. I, I haven't seen it any was, tests was, in a long time. Well, it, what it usually is for me, I think it might be depending on where you live or something. But it, they'll just they'll just um, have a little text thing of where things are like thing where, where the thing is happening, like all their counties and stuff, and it has then it has a noise drowning out the thing. I. Re- you know, it's kind yes. of late to that, but I remember I was so mad <laughs> one time. Okay, I was watching watching Fox, and it was like a really rainy, stormy, stormy night. And it was like, like whenever stor- it used to come on, like around like 2013, 14. I think it was like eight, like eight or something when The Simpsons came on, and they interrupted The Simpsons for three hours. When they were having like I think like a mini, like a mini marathon of The Simpsons, to tell you how th- that it was storming for like three like three or four hours, and they interrupted <laughs> literally every episode of The Simpsons that was coming on, and that was on Converter Box TV, so there's no going back and watching. Dang. I now yeah. hate I now hate that guy I now I now hate that guy that works for Fox with the gray hair the weather guy. I, 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 um. I, if I ever meet if I ever meet him I, I'm asking for my Simpsons back. As a kid, I had to watch the way I watched Simpsons. I had, um, looking at them right now. Yeah, one, two, and three, one, two, three, and four seasons on DVD. And if I wanted to watch Simpsons that were not one through four, I had to watch it on a local channel. And I remember, um, it, I, I remember watching them on a local, and they're always sponsored by Vern Funk, right? For some reason, it's an insurance company in the Northwest, I think, something like that. Um, Pacific Northwest, I mean, that's that's another story after this, but, um, I hated when there was like a, like a game or something or like, like a football game or something that would like because there would be at eight and eight thirty, Simpsons would come on. That was and I could only watch them like every like every night, you know. You no, know, now we have like I've, we had FX for a while that would play them, and then we got now we got Disney Plus, so I can watch them all anytime I want now. Um, but <laughs> another time, Vern Funk, right? Um, look up these commercials. Is these are like some local commercials I remember? They are the weirdest commercials. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're um, talking about that. This is one commercial. I I don't know why it happened. I specifically remember this happening though. It was the most terrifying thing to me at the time because I had an anxiety about aliens. For some reason, I had anxiety about aliens happen, like invading the Earth <laughs> for some reason. So <laughs> he's basically saying like it's like it's like it's a Vern Funk, right? He's like a bald guy, you know, and he's like saying like 
he says something like some kind of joke or whatever. Then he laughs, like looks down when he laughs, and when he looks back up, he opens his eyes. His eyes, pure black with a white glare on them. It happened Where like one or two times. It was a local channel. I'm pretty sure it was just an, it was an airing mistake. But it was the most terrifying thing I have ever seen at the time. I was so it scared me okay. so much. You're talking about we need like to watch Aaron, Fern commercials. We need to watch. Aaron we need to watch the Fern Fon. I had the weirdest YouTube glitch earlier. Okay, I was watching a YouTube video about weird YouTube channels, and they're like, "Let's talk about our final channel," and then it's just, um, I thought it legitimately thought it was a channel. Okay, the screen. The screen was just like the video was just all like a bun- whole bunch of like pixels and mess of colors and, and there's sound in the background. I legitimately thought it was the video until the screen went back and started buffering. And oh, yeah. uh, and and then and then I I checked the progress bar and the the um the little slide slider thing is going back back and forth. <laughs> what? That's so weird. So creepy. Yeah. yeah the pixel thing happens to me a lot because I use YouTube Mobile a lot. That happens a lot. Mama's it's been happening cool. a lot lately. For me, yeah, for me, it's been happening on mobile. Also, ads on mobile. <laughs> It'll um, sometimes they'll play like 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 ha- like half of the ad on one corner. It'd be like super thick border around these videos. It'll, it'll be like really tiny. Ha- one half will have the um the 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 ad, and the other one will be like the first part of the commercial, the the video just like flickering. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, okay. I don't know really how to describe it. It's it's weird and cool. I like it. Okay, Phillips. Phillips, creator of the of of Roku of Roku devices and Zelda CDI. Can you can you guys make it so that your bat your your Roku remotes don't drain battery um triple A batteries so unbelievably fast? And also, can you make it so the home button isn't so sensitive? Yeah, I hope you guys. I hope you guys are listening. We know you also, are. um, I like to I like to have a good way to uh, remove my Netflix button from my Roku remote. Uh, that would be great. Just a, uh, thanks. Take a screwdriver uh, and just kind of pry it off. Me, you know? Call me back. There should be a way could to I reprogram use, like, the buttons. Cool. Could I use um, ne- um, for your nail polish? <clears throat> I don't know. Can I polish remover? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever grow up without cable? Yep. And for every other time I would, like, spend the night at, like, my dad's or whatever. As a kid, I kind of went from, like, like basically, like, every other year as a kid, I'd have cable. It's like one, like, I had cable, then not have cable, then uh, cable, then not have cable. So, my parents are divorced, so weekends, I'd go, every other weekend, I'd be with my dad, right? And he had cable. And my mom says we didn't have cable, which I was happy with. We watched DVDs, you know. I loved my childhood, you know. I was so, <laughs> that's, that's. This might get kind of sad, but I love really your did not have a lot growing up. I did not really have a lot growing up, but you know something? I did not care because I was just happy with my little family. What I had was me, my yeah. mom, and my sister. And we would watch <clears throat> we, would watch, we would watch DVDs on our big old CRT that we had in our living room. You know, I remember renting stuff from Blockbuster and getting excited for the Disney ads because we were excited to see what like sequels were coming out next. And as a kid, I loved Dumbo. But and I was so I wanted the Dumbo too so badly. I remember this commercial was like seventy years ago, and like it was like about Dumbo. Like it's like oh, is this the sequel? Is this the sequel? It was just seventieth anniversary DVD. I'm like oh, and then hey, like, at least, years hey, later, at least you got a remake. Years later, don't even get me started on that one. Years later, I found out All that right, there was going to be a Dumbo. <laughs> there was going to be a Dumbo too, and I would have probably loved that as a kid. But anyways, what did I? Where was I going with this? Oh yeah. Uh, in summers, I'd be I would be with my dad for a week, and then my mom with a week. So that's pretty much where I remember commercials the most. Is like at my dad's house. That's why I, I remember like cable. T- like I remember like HD things and like the HD TV channels. I mean, and commercials. That, that's pretty much where I watched them the most. I remember for like a couple months, my dad got free Canadian cable. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminds me. Um. In my apartments with my mom, I, spe- I specifically remember what channel Sprout was because it was 118 because that was the same number as our garage in our apartment building. <laughs> it's such a weird specific memory, but I remember it. So, yeah. 
this is th- this was a weird tangent from Surf's Up. <laughs> Man, on the Canadian channel yeah. YTV, they consider Buffy the Vampire Slayer a kid show. What? It's yeah, like, show. it's weird. It's like, yeah, it's a teen drama. They don't do too much cuss words, but that show covered dark themes. That, that it's kind of weird to see that, that play. PG-13, that show had PG-13 love scenes. Okay, yeah, that's, 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 not, that's not for kids. That's for yeah, the 13-year-old kids. Yeah, but in Canada, kids. they thought it was a good idea to air that immediately after Spongebob. <laughs> Yeah, one minute you'd be sitting First, there watching three episodes SpongeBob. of SpongeBob, and it's like coming up next, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You're watching. I mean, it's like you're watching SpongeBob up next. <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer, pretty TV. On YTV. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the worst show to me as a kid was Drake and Josh. Let me clarify. I love Drake and what? Josh now. What? But as a kid, excuse, I hated excuse, it. You want to know why? Excuse me. Excuse me. I hated it as a kid. Because once mm-hmm. I saw the um, the little video diaries come up, I knew all the shows I loved. Everything, <laughs> everything I liked watching was done for the day. PBS Kids was over for the day. There was no more cartoons on Nickelodeon that day. Nothing on Cartoon Network was good any- that- for the rest of the day that I liked. <laughs> so when Jake and Josh came on, Dude. I knew. We were I... we were talking we were talking about interruptions earlier, right? Of things being interrupted, <laughs> like when you're watching TV. There's this thing I really hate. Okay, I really, whenever they, they like the, the new um the new remake of Ducktales, right? Oh god, that remake's four years old. I can't call it a remake no anymore. Anyway, <laughs> um, every time they, they air a new episode, they have this thing that's like you you it's like guess what the special artifact is, and it it air it every time they aired have every time they aired a new episode, it would be like it, it would. It would show what the artifact is, like a little pop-up thing on screen, and it would literally make a really loud sound and drown out that dialogue. It was I who, li- who lagged out. <laughs> I'm, Though what you're I'm saying all... about, about Drake and Josh, I think uh, okay. I remember a similar situation because they would play like Teen Nick after Nick because it wasn't like a separate channel yet. And it was also yep. on uh, Noggin's The End. Because I know Noggin <laughs> used to like go off the air at like 6. And they would be saying, Noggin is about to transition to The End. A teenage whatever. The I forget. N. I forget. It the was Noggin. Like for the Nickelodeon. It was like a weird teen Nick <laughs> thing. And every time before, every time before they would switch from Noggin to the N, they would play the same Nickelodeon <laughs> ad where it's like, and you can watch all your friends at Nickelodeon. It'd have the scene where Squidward was in the crane spinning around. Yet that was <laughs> before that was before the episode Skill Crane even came out. Just the commercial knowing that it spoiled a bit. The commercial spoiled an episode of Spongebob like three months before it even came out. I Very remember. Spoiled. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so, so, uh, okay. on Atlantis Square Pantis, on Atlantis Square Pantis DD, right? I'm pretty sure. It had like a footage of when, uh, baby, of Goo Gas, where all the characters turn into babies. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the episode where <laughs> Patrick meme comes from. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, kid, look at the meme. You know the meme, right? Meme. But it had the scene where, like, Mr. Krabs is, like, chewing on plankton, right? And it was not yeah, in that yeah. movie, so I was really confused. I was like, what the heck? Where did the episode come from? Months later, I got um, Who Bought What Pants DVD, and it had the episode. I was like, oh, that's where it comes from. And then I got 10th anniversary of SpongeBob happens. And they're like, okay, so we're going to play 10 new episodes in a row. And then Google Guest was one of them. I'm like, this isn't new. I don't know what it was with the deal with that episode. Apparently, they just didn't want to air it for some reason. Yeah, um, a lot when of I was SpongeBob a... DVDs aired episodes early. When I was a kid, I got of a claw machine. I got a, I got a baby SpongeBob plush, and I don't know what happened to it. I wish I still had it. I want baby Patrick plush. 
<laughs> when, when you kill when, when you kill someone that has a baby has 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 a kid in Among Us it, and it just sits there in the cafeteria, it just looks like baby magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. And I remember there were also ads on Nickelodeon where they would use lines from episodes like before they would even come out. You just see the voice actors using rehash clips of SpongeBob. Because I remember Patrick's voice was doing the voice in a commercial. It's like, oh, no, I'm sorry, Squidward. I got to use your toilet. No questions. Thanks. Do you, do you remember? Do you remember the the half the half it's time like, show? And then back to the, SpongeBob. Do you remember the Super Bowl halftime show? It was like it was like featuring SpongeBob, and then it's just like crappy Flash animation. Don't bring that mm. up. Your kid was so disappointed. I was I disappointed hate. too. I immediately, once it happened, I posted the patch of Jones, just going, that's it. <laughs> it's on the TV. That's legit what it was like, though. Just, <laughs> I watched. I was so excited. I watched the Super Bowl. I never. I don't like football. And I was watching. And I'm waiting. I'm like, okay, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. They're going to the play Sweet Victory. They're going to play Sweet Victory. They're going to play Sweet Victory. And then they didn't. You want to know what? what really rubbed it in, though? The fact that the official YouTube channel posted the uh, the Squidward clip, and then and then they posted it after after the trumpets were up and everything, they had the entirety of Sweet Victory. The official <laughs> YouTube uploaded that just to rub it in our face, just to spite you. That was the first time that Nickelodeon was going to run SpongeBob into the ground. Fight me. I don't Actually, know. Actually, ran SpongeBob into the ground when his when his he was in the, he was in the ground. His nose was sticking out. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. Plus, didn't they make a... Didn't they make that one episode poking fun at the fact Nick uses only Spongebob? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? You know, the, I... the one where they're like Spongebob coasters, bibs, napkins, and Spongebob oh. ice cubes. Oh, um... Oh, what is that ice cubes already square. Don't say the episode if you know the name, because I want to figure out this name. Good for me crazy. Okay, I so the name of the episode kid, is... I once tried to do that Krusty with Sponge. my uh, it was Krusty. sister's it was face. It was Krusty Sponge, would... right? What? It was the Krusty Sponge, right? Something yeah, like that? yeah. Good, good, good. That was on my uh, Hoop Bob Ups, uh, What Pants DVD. I... Oh, yeah. Okay. It was on one of my stuff. VHSs. <laughs> okay. So, I remember as a kid, I, um... There was a pre- there was a sneak peek of like the first like couple minutes of Hoobah Blood Pants on on demand when you had like Comcast, and I remember being like, as a kid, I'm like, oh that'd be cool if they changed the lyrics to say Hoobah Blood Pants instead of SpongeBob SquarePants, and when they did it, oh my god, I freaked out. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, we should. Really it's kind of rare to find that on the broadcast now. <laughs> yeah. Like I've seen All versions right. that have it and versions that don't. Alright, we should record another one. Um, what we're watching next week, I have no idea. You'll see, I, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see don't next say what week. It is. Uh, don't, no. say what, don't say what it is. I don't think we even figured out what we're going to watch next. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, we're going to die. We're out of time. It's almost December 25th. No, oh, Lord. Alright, <laughs> we kind of rewind it. No, that's the snowman. Alright, because... <laughs> Be kind, rewind, and we'll see you next time.